Hey everybody and welcome back. This is Amanda Moxley with part two of how to be a sales angel to move from sales to service and close the deal. Okay, we talked about in last video all about the rapport and the bond and hitting the pain point of the ideal client to help activate the gap to so they understand where they are and where they wanna go. And then in this week's video, we're gonna take it a few layers deeper into the anatomy of a sales call and to get to the meat of being a sales angel so that you can really do the work that you're here to do on the planet. You can impact those lives and really help create that ripple effect of the goodness that you're making. And honestly, so you can stop sucking at sales and actually make more money and quit the worry and the fear and storms that you might be having all the time and really step into your power and know that you are a sales angel goddess that can rock it out. That's what we're all about here. If you have not subscribed yet, please hit the bell and make sure that you are subscribed to Amanda Moxley TV because every single week I come to you with a brand new video that is filled with content and value and that you don't want to miss. And be sure that you stay till the end of this video because you want to be sure that you have the sales cheat sheet to support you in enrolling more and making more money. Hi, I'm Amanda Moxley and I want to welcome you to Rise Up, where over three days we're going to work together to speak your way to success so you can unleash your true voice and create a signature talk that you can go out and use in your community, online, etc. to impact millions and make millions and learn my success secrets about, it's actually called the Moxley Method. If you want to learn the Moxley Method about how to rise up and speak your way to success, and I can't wait to see you soon. Now that we've hit the pain, you know the pain. Once you have the pain, you know that they need your help and they are, they're screwed. They are in this plane is crashing problem and they need help now. And we all know that people pay money or they finally surrender and say, I need help when it's really, really bad. So don't be afraid to be real with them. Have an intervention moment where you're real with them with the pain that they're in and acknowledge that they're screwed and how bad it is and why they need help now. If you, you know, pussyfoot around that and you pretend it's all rainbows and unicorns and all so good, they're gonna go somewhere else and someone else is going to be able to have the connection with them and the power to actually be real with them and understand this is how bad it is and here's where you need to go. Now that you've got the pain identified, the next step is you want to say, great, I love it. So this is where you are and this pain, but so tell me like, let's say we got to work together over the next half of year, however long your program is. And how, what would be the key results, the takeaways, the ahas, the breakthroughs? What are the key things that you would like to create in our coaching together? So you ask them, what are the results they want? And hopefully in that section, when they answer that question, they're gonna be telling you everything that you actually do for them, right? It's not some random thing that you don't even do. If it is some random thing that you don't even do, then just get off the call in a nice way. and be like, well, I don't even do that. I don't think I can really help you. Or get back to the pain because you've already identified in the pain that they actually don't have what you offer. So ask them what the key results are and the outcomes, write those down then go deeper okay people buy for emotion and they justify with logic later so you want to say so why do you want this and you want to dive down like why do you really want this and then they'll be real they'll be like to be honest with you i just i really want it because of this and so don't go any further to getting a commitment or anything until you feel their why in their gut. They have to own it and own the desire that they really, really want this. And now is their time. And once you get that why and they're like real with you and they're like, I want it because of this, and, and they have a why that makes them cry, and you have that rapport and bond and connection and pain, then you're going to recap. And you're gonna just recap as a good listener would and say, hey, this is where you currently are. This is what you're looking to do. This is what you're hoping I can help you with. And these are the key results that you want. Is that a fair assessment or would you like to add anything more? Then they're gonna give you that. Then they're gonna say, wow, she really, he really listened to me. They really hear me. The third part here is you wanna say, this is all great, but how committed are you to actually making this happen? Because 
actually building your own business, creating a signature talk and getting speaking and selling and, and putting together a signature program, like this is not like the easiest thing in the world. It's, it takes commitment. So how committed are you? Because let's be honest, anything worth getting or anything you're gonna be coaching them on is not gonna be like a quick little thing. It's going to take time and investment and focus. So the more real you are with them on the, the reality of like, you know, for you to lose 40 pounds in the next six months, is it's you're gonna actually have to change some things, right? You're gonna actually have to do something. So how committed are you really to making this happen? And why are you committed to that? So you gotta get their commitment. Then you wanna qualify them and say, because who knows where this person came to, into your funnel to find you, but you don't really know them, right? So you need to make sure that they are actually your ideal client. So what are your ideal client characteristics that you actually are looking for in your ideal client and that you actually know that if these clients have these attributes, they will be successful? Because you and I both know nobody wants to work with a vampire client that totally sucks your energy and just blows. We don't want that. We want to work with people who are really rock stars, who are committed, who are coachable, who are action takers, and who are resourceful right? Just like you and me, like we're, we are those people. So we want our clients to be those people. So ask them on a scale one to 10, how committed are you to being coachable and an action taker and resourceful? And, and if they're like, Oh, I'm like a two, then I would just be like, you know, I play at a level 10. I don't think I can help you because honestly, this takes work. I'm not going to go over and to your house and do this for you. You actually have to do it. At the end of the day, it's up to you. So, but if they're like, I'm a 10, totally a 10, then yes, they're an awesome client and you can qualify them and enroll them. So by this stage of the game, you've done the rapport, the bond, which was in last week's video. You got the rapport, the bond and the pain. Then you've gotten their, what results they want, their commitment level, their why. Now you need to say, great, sounds like you're a perfect fit. And I'm hundred percent confident that I could support you in this. And I wanna walk you through my solution here in a second, but before I do that, are you able to make a decision today? So you wanna really ask this question, like are you able to make a decision today? Because we want them to make a decision today because why would they need more time to make a decision? This prospect is never gonna be more hot to trot than they are when they're actually on the phone with you in that moment at that time, right? They've just uncovered, bared their soul about their pain with you and your white lab coat on, like it's time to do, to GFTI. So ask them, are you able to make a decision today? And then if they're like, yeah, then great, then keep on going. If they're like, no, I gotta ask my husband, or no, I need more time, then you would say something like, so a lot of times people, you know, I'm okay with the yes, I'm okay with the no, I'm just not okay with the maybe. A lot of times people, and just say this because it's gonna save you a lot of time and heartache. A lot of times people, they're too afraid, they don't wanna hurt my feelings, so they won't say no. I'm okay with the yes, I'm okay with the no, but just don't say maybe, okay? Let's both be big girls, put on our big girl panties here and both make a decision today. Because our time is valuable and I, you've got a problem and we need to get going on this thing to solve it. So if they're like, well, I need to talk to my husband, well, then you t go through the husband objection. Do you realize I haven't talked anything about the investment at this point? So it's like, well, what do you think your husband will say? Well, my husband will say, I sucked at that other program, so why is this program gonna be different? Well, he's got a good point. Why are you gonna be different this time? You wanna bring it back to them and you want to really lead the call. You would say something like, you know, I can, I'm happy if you need to talk with your husband, why don't we get him on the phone? Or why don't we actually, what I can do is I can take a deposit, you can move forward, you can talk with your husband tonight, I won't process your card, but at least you have some skin in the game and you've made a decision. So these are the steps I wanna go through today, you guys. I hope this is helpful. We've just talked huge. Take massive notes, download the cheat sheet, and this week I want you to work on asking the results question. I want you to do the recap, the why and the urgency, as well as the qualifying characteristics that you're looking for, and then I want you to get the commitment. My next video, I'm gonna be talking to you all about how to handle objections, okay? Objections are awesome, and we'll talk about that next week, so be sure to subscribe. And then join me in the after party over at Facebook at Moxley Method Speaker Society. And then on Instagram at Amanda J. Moxley. Okay, I love sales. Sales is love. 
Hope you enjoyed this. I wanna hear from you in the comments. Like it, share it, and I'll see you here same time, same place next week. Bye. Do you want to grow a successful business as a speaker? All you have to do is go to amandamoxley.com forward slash training, and I'm going to share with you my entire Moxley method, my mindset, the strategy, the structure, and the system behind my consistent multiple six-figure business. All you have to do is go to amandamoxley.com forward slash training and sign up today.